Path of Exile, Basics, Keybinds, and Settings. Path of Exile's keybinds and settings, fairly simple, but they can be changed to customize to what you want them to be. Uh, on the options, they have the simple graphics, they have shadow, anti-aliasing, texture, all that stuff, post-processing, screen shake. These are just basic things that you can control. There's also some tricks that you can do with, uh, if you go to windowed mode, and when you go into windowed mode, you can change the height of the screen. And if you shrink the screen as small as you can get it, which is can only be so much, um, you're able to see further out. So that's a little trick that you can use if you want to fight something off screen. Uh, sounds basic sound stuff, sound effects, music, dialogue, uh, mute when in background, so if you alt-tab that out of the game, look at something else, you won't hear the game, it's muted. I usually don't care, but might as well just uh, click it anyway. Uh, the UI, fairly simple, but there are some things that I just like to keep highlighted. Map transparency, so if you have this up, you can make it so it's either super transparent or not. I don't care too much because I have the map that's up in the corner which I suggest that you have on just so you don't need to keep on pressing tab to open it up. Auto center map, not too big of a deal because you could just use the arrow keys to control what the map looks like. Always highlight, um, that goes for if you drop something on the ground, it's always highlighted. You can also, it's also bound to the Z key. Uh, see, it's going on and off. So I just keep it on because if you, let's say, um, where is that? Uh, let's say I drop a jeweler's orb. Yeah, you're probably not going to notice that on the ground. So it's best to always have it on. Uh, then there is auto equip. This is not really that big of a deal because uh, later on in the game, you're going to have everything you want equipped. Full show, show full descriptions. Uh, that's not too big of a deal show life and mana levels. Basically what that means is you before you'd always have to hover over them to see what you have. But with this it just shows them on top so they're a bit easier to recognize if you're about to die or not. Uh, then they have tor tor corpse targeting which only very specific things you use that ability. Height global chat, you can just do that from inside the global chat if you wanted to. Mouse wheel zoom, that allows you to use the mouse wheel to zoom. If you don't have anything bound to the middle mouse button, it's not that big of a deal. Then you have the keybinds. The keybinds, uh, I've customized them uh, a little bit, a bit more than probably most people would. Uh, the flasks, which are your uh, HP potions and other, uh, otherwise, those skills that are on the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I just kept them there because that's fine. Um, I changed around the skills. They're, uh, they're on QWERTY, uh, or QRT, uh, QWERT. Uh, I changed around the attack and space for that way shift. I changed it to space just because that feels a bit better for me. Um, instead of holding shift, it just feels a bit natural. Weapon swap, that was on Y. I changed it to hex just so it's on a faster uh, button to press. Detonate mines, only if you use mines. I'll uh, highlight the, uh, items that are on the ground. If you have always highlighted on through Z, that's not that big of a deal, but if you don't, you can always use Alt. Uh, enable Corpse Targeting again, that's not that important. Chat, Enter, that's basic. Uh, open, Close, Map, Tab. Some people bind it to F12. Well, I don't know why you bind it to F12, but um, just keep it on Tab, because that's basically the general region of what you're going to do. Open, Options, Tab, it's O. I kept that on O, because that's pretty good. Uh, open character panel, that was on C. I changed it to H, just because you go to your stash, you go to your character slot more than you do your hero slot. So I kept that up with, I moved that to H. Social panel, which is the friends list, which is L. Open ladder panel, that doesn't seem to work, unless you go into chat and type in slash ladder. So if you want to see the ladder, you have to type that in. Uh, oh, options. Uh, the inventory panel was on I. I don't know why it was on I. I guess the inventory for I. But I changed that to C because C is easier to reach than I because I is all the way across the keyboard and C is just right below it. So I kept it there. I moved it there. Uh, the world panel. That's U. It just opens up the map. You don't use this too often. 
Uh, so I just keep it on U. So it's out of the way next to options, but it's nice to know where it is. You can always change it to like uh, M for map, but uh, M also brings up your uh, 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 microtransactions stash. I didn't change that, but you can. You can move them around. You can use the microtransaction to like P or something. I don't know. Uh, passive skill tree is the P, which is the big skill forest, which I think that's good because you only go to that when you uh, gain a level or something. So I kept that the same. Close all panels, not set. Uh, this was space originally. So let's say you have like these two open and instead of just clicking H and C again or whatever you have bound to, you can just hit space and it closes all of them. You can do the same thing in exit. Exit's already bound to that uh, by itself. Uh, take a screenshot. F8, not too important. Zoom into camera, page up, page down. Uh, this is basically gives you a bit more dynamic zoom in instead of the mouse wheel. Mouse wheel, it's a bit faster. So, not too much there. Uh, then your skills, you have one on the mouse, middle mouse, left and right click. So, you can put your basic skills on those. Uh, I just, I don't change those. Uh, then you have the QWERTY. Simple, but some people prefer to put it on F, a skill on F to the, to the T. I don't know why. Most people, I don't know. People have their different keybinds. So this is the keybinds. Fairly simple, very customizable. You could change almost every aspect except the mouse button, like the, the clicking ones. You can't change those too much. Uh, if your button, if your mouse has but extra buttons on it, you can bind things to those. I don't have many buttons on mine. I only have uh, four, three extra buttons on mine, so I don't mess around with those too much. Uh, other than that, those are basically the keybinds. Fairly simple, but very customizable. And until the next basics video, see you later.